welcome back students i have come up with very much awaiting concepts and the questions for the students as per the request the course is all about the mechanics of solids i mean mos for mechanical engineering students under j into h r18 as well as r16 revelation the students in order to clear this course i have uh, come to know that many students have backlogs in this course in order to clear this course a student should have basic fundamentals and the foundation knowledge related to uh, mathematics as well as related to mechanics and they should be perfect with all the formulas and the derivations and equations and they need to work out the problems in order to score good marks and clear this subject sometimes this course is all about the problems only the complete question paper and sometimes it is a combination of derivations theory as well as the problems dear students please do concentrate on the part which i am going to speak types of stresses and strains and the stress strain diagram and the hooke's law poisson's ratio and the volumetric strain and the factor of safety bulk modulus and the relationship as well as the defined working stress and lateral strain and the bars of varying cross sections and the problems related to it is one of the gun shot question and the composite of bars also may be one of the very important question and the problems related to these two concepts and derive total elongation expression for a uh bars of varying cross section and define the term resilience and the problems related to the bars and composite is being asked several times and that will be coming for sure and the problems related to impact sudden and shock loadings and i have come up with certain problems and how the questions will be asked and what they are going to ask you to find is all about to find the young's modulus change in length outside diameter thickness maximum stress induced in a bar elongation of a rectangular plate as well as calculate the value of poisson's ratio and stresses produced in the bar it is all about the bar and it is all about the introduction and the minimum basic fundamentals will be covered in this please do work out unit 1 compulsory to get a concepts of unit 2 and 3 i have covered the remaining units here the gunshot question is that draw the shear force and the bending moment diagram for a cantilever or a simply supported or overhanging beams of length l subjected to udl along its total length related to this concept you are going to get for sure a problem or the derivation dear students or draw sfd bending moment problem such type of diagrams will be given a cantilever or simply supported or uniformly distributed the load is acting exactly at the center and the relation between the shear force and the bending moment and this is said to be very important and gunshot question related to cantilever or simply supported the rate of loading at a section of a beam as well as derive the bending momentum equation and the assumption made in the derivation and related to mohr circle they'll be asking you the problem and calculate the maximum and average shear stress till here you'll be getting i mean to say that these all are the first part is all about the two questions 1a b as well as 2a as well as b and from this part you are going to get 3a as well as 3b till here and from here you'll be getting 4a as well as 4b dear students i'm going to talk about the fifth question calculate the maximum and average shear stresses in i section or the t section is with a gunshot question and draw a more circle of stresses and determine the magnitudes and directions of principal stress and also the greatest shear stress said to be one of the very important question uniaxial biaxial stresses and the problems related to it and the problems on various theories of failures related to maximum stress as well as maximum principal strain strain energy and shear strain energy one missile theory this is said to be one of the very important and gunshot question for 15 marks related to this you are going to get one problem or they'll be asking you to write all the different types of failures stresses on inclined section of a bar under axial load as well as compound stresses and the principal stresses and strains a problems related to it analytical as well as graphical solutions I have come up with unit 2 3 and 4 i mean i am going to cover the five questions in this and one of the gunshot question which i can give you is derive an expression for shear stress in a beam is said to be very very important and gunshot question and the problem related to it how it is distributed over the cross section of rectangular beam and if a problem is asked find the width and depth of the section and determine the udl 
per meter uniformly distributed load per meter may be one of the gunshot question related to the beams you are going to get one derivation or problem obtain the expression for major and minor principal stresses is also one of the very important on a plane when the body is subjected to direct stresses in two mutually perpendicular directions accompanied by a shear stress is said to be also very important and gunshot question dear students if you are working with the theory you need to work out the expression of this i mean the equation and related to it you solve two to three problems then only you would be able to answer and clear this course related problem may be like to calculate the volumetric strain energy or total strain energy or shear strain energy and the factor of safety for a given beam or cross section and derive an equation under maximum principle shear strain energy theory or any type of theory they will be asking you the derivation causes of failure of beams and mention the remedial methods if a theory question is asked they'll be asking like this later the normal stress shear stress problems the normal stress shear stress problem i mean the negative as well as the positive stresses find the principal stresses and planes on which they act show the stresses and planes in a neat sketch you are going to work out very neat sketches only in pencil and do not forget to carry your calculator section modulus of a rectangular and circular cross section based on this also you are going to get one question related to solid as well as hollow cross section problems shear stress distribution across the various beams sections like rectangular circular triangular i or t angle section i cannot give which part will be asked but for sure the shear stress distribution across these sections will be asked of which any one or two may be asked dear students and a small definition sometime asked like define the point of contraflexure these are the questions which have taken into consideration by referring earlier prepared previous year question papers as well as the syllabus of ga into h i have covered seven questions here of which you can work out any two units if you are an average student or you can work out all the concepts which i have given here dear students you need to work out the basic fundamentals first later you go to the remaining units hope you will perform well and this is very important subject with this subject acts as a core requisites for you in the coming years like kinematics of machinery dynamics of machinery in applications of dmm1 dmm2 and in order to do your major project also these all formulas and fundamental relations are very useful and benefit for a mechanical engineering students hope you are liking my videos as well as share with video with your friends and do subscribe and do not forget to comment if you are looking for any other course good luck and god bless you all thank you